Hello and welcome back to Columbus for the Origin Summer Preview. I'm Eric Summer. I'm here with Robert from Japanime Games and we're looking at Heart of Crown. Right, that's right. This is Heart of Crown. It is a deck building card game for okay. two to four players. Games take about 30 to 40 minutes depending on your play speed. Uh, it's a game all about getting your princess to coronation. Okay. Because you see, you're not the princess. You're I'm the not the princess. Is campaign manager. And we each have a princess that we're well, trying to... Well, not to start. Oh. I'd like to believe that this game, you start out as kind of a grifter. Okay. Trying to get some money together, back a princess, okay. and try to get her to the throne. You're basically forming a super pack. And okay. And okay. you go from there. You're going to use bribery, yep. military tactics, okay. and witchcraft to get sure. your princess to the throne. Okay. So it's basically real politics. Just... Yes. So do you want me to get yeah, started? Well, yeah, what, how do we do that? We start out with, with a, a starting deck? So, like most deck building card games, you start out with the starting deck. You get three apprentice maids. I don't know if we... Yeah, we're, we're looking over here. We sure. You get three apprentice maids. They are essentially your bumbling maid that really doesn't do much for you. Okay. So if you're the traveling va vagabond, they're constantly being clumsy. It's like a Disney movie. And uh, you have your farming villages. Okay. They're what's going to generate you resources. Okay. So every turn, you draw five cards. So I'm going to not shuffle because I want to draw yep. a very specific five cards. Sure. But I imagine it'll be five farming villages. So let's say that that's my opening hand. Great. All right. Now, like in a lot of deck builders, there's a limit to how much you can play in a turn. Okay. But what this one uses is these little golden bridges. These golden bridges right act there. as a method of seeing if you can keep going. Oh. So basically the way it works is I play a card. Do I have a bridge? You can keep going. I can keep going. I play a card. Do I have a bridge? Well, let's yeah. make something yeah, in here yeah. real quick. And so trading I bought this ship. trading ship. Yep. And, and so it's in my deck. it's another turn. Yep. I draw it. And I play my trading ship and I give myself two coins. Can I keep going? You cannot keep going because there's no going. bridge. That's correct. There's okay. no bridge, my turn stops. All right. However, say I were a wise campaign manager and I was trying to get that princess in there quick, I would have gotten a post horse first. Oh, whoa, whoa. That, that, so this has an arrow on the side and the bottom. Exactly. So I can I've keep like going. A branching. Multiple, yeah. Oh, so it, it's almost like the plus two actions card in maybe another deck builder, but sure. it's a visual aspect. Yes, yes. It's, it's visually represented. It's very easy to pick up because... Huh. Do you have a golden bridge? Yes. Keep going. Do you not? Then stop. That's actually that's. But then you don't have to do the whole. Well, now I have two actions. Right. Minus one. Okay, it's one. But I got three more. So you're not doing that math anymore. Exactly. It's all visually represented. So okay. there's no. It, there. It removes that element where if I'm like draw two cards, I have two actions remaining. Draw two cards, I have one action. No, there's none of that. It's just you keep playing if you have bridges. So how do I how do I align myself with a princess? So basically the way you align yourself with a princess is so throughout your turns you're going to be gathering up resources, getting money, buying all that cards, sort of thing. getting them in the deck. And let's say we're very fortunate and in a latter turn we get we play our city into a city, into a large city, and then we play a few other cards, but all that really matters You've is we reach got six enough. gold. Okay. Gold is what we use to purchase anything in the game. Right. Including backing our princess. Right. So I now have more than six gold, and I decide when I enter the buy phase of the game mm -hmm. that I'm going to back a princess. Great. So I'm going to back, let's say, my favorite, which is the South Sea Princess. She's basically okay. a rapscallion pirate. Sounds good. When I back her, I take three territories that I use to back her, and they leave my deck. They're removed from my deck, and they enter my kingdom, or I believe the rulebook calls it your demens. Okay. And she becomes ruler of them, and this is now your kingdom. It's always in play in front of you. Has any of the effects that the Wait. territories you use to get it. So now I always have, what was that, seven gold? Not quite okay. exactly. See, because in my opinion, you have to use the gold that the cities generate to keep them moving. But what you can use a city for is you can store cards on them. They become a bank equal to or less than the cost of the city. Okay. So say I've got an alchemist 
but I have no cards left to draw because you see an alchemist draws me two cards. Okay. So I don't want to use her this turn. I am going to store my alchemist in my large city and she can remain there. Okay. Or I can have a rampart. Soldiers are invading your territory. Rampart can stop that. So I'm just going to put a rampart on my city. And now if anybody ever tries to attack it, I just point at this rampart, tell them not today. Huh. Right. And see, this can get a bit tricky. One, okay, so now you got multiple, can yeah. you get multiple mm -hmm. princesses that you're... You cannot get multiple princesses. Okay. You get the one princess and you're done. In fact, it's kind of traitorous you would even suggest something oh, like why that. Why would I, no, of course not. No, right. This is my princess. Friend. This is, yeah, yes. the, you, will, you will back her unto Forget death. Forget I said anything. Uh, it's gonna be, the Inquisition's gonna be docked so in this a little while. So this looks like has layers to it. This is interesting. Oh yeah, and, and like I was saying, your character is playing a lot of infantries and trying to attack your opponent, and your opponent sets up with a rampart. I tell you what you need. You need to get cards like a battering ram. Battering ram picks a card in every player's domain, knocks it out. So it's a game all about layered strategy. Yeah. It's not one of those deck builders where you just buy a bunch of a single card and everyone just kind of rotates buying that card. Right. It's more of a game where it's. Let me get the cards I need for right now. Let me get my kingdom going. And then once you get your kingdom going, the whole objective changes. So when do we get to see this game? This game will be coming out in September. Excellent. Uh, the Kickstarter already backed up, but if you're interested in it, uh, Pledge Manager's up. Just look up Heart of Crown on Kickstarter or Pledge Manager. You'll find it there. Uh, or on our website, Japanime Games. Um, the game will have online components, multiple expansion packs, all sorts of stuff. Excellent. Thank you very yep. much, Robert. Heart of Crown. Heart of Crown. Thanks for watching.